Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to explain what is foreign key and how we can implement the foreign key uh, while creating a new table or while the table is already existing and we want to add a foreign key later. So how we can do it, let's start. First of all, what is a foreign key? A foreign key is a column or the group of columns in a table that provides a link between two tables. Now let's take an example. I have these two tables. Okay, I have these three tables. One is student, hostel, and uh, one is student account. So, uh, foreign key is the link between the two tables. It's a relationship between two tables that points to the primary key of another table. For example, I have this table, student, and uh, ID is the primary key here. And this ID is, uh, and in the another table, there is the foreign key. Now this foreign key is going to point to the primary key of the another table. Fine. And uh, what's the difference between primary key and foreign key? See, you can only have the values since it is going to point to the, uh, pr uh, the primary key of another table. So it can have only the values which are present in the primary key. So it can have the value 1. Fine. It can have the value 1. It can have the value 2. It can have it. It can have the value 3 and if I insert the row, let's say the value is 4, that is not allowed. It can only have the values which are present in the primary key. And one more difference uh, between the primary key and the foreign key is null values are not allowed in primary key. Fine. But null values are null values are allowed in the foreign key fine okay now one more thing uh, one thing is uh, in one table we can have only one primary key but the number of foreign keys can be more than one and uh, see and how is that possible we are saying that primary key and foreign key they are linked the primary key of one table becomes a foreign key in another table now talking about this table the primary key of this table has is the foreign key here now let's say there is another table here this is registration number uh, that is a primary key now that will be linked with the let's say i'm going to add a new column here fine that is a uh, registration number registration number fine so that will become the foreign key here so it means it is going to provide the link between this table and the the table student accounts and the table hostel and uh, so the number of foreign keys will depend uh, will be equals to the number of relationships one table have with the another table and uh, if one table is related to n number of tables that means there will be n number of foreign keys fine so let's start with the implementation process now this table i already have created these tables in student table i have id as the primary key and in student accounts I have registration number as the primary key now it's time to create the foreign key the first case I'm going to discuss is how to add the foreign key while creating the table so I'm going to create the table table hostel and in that I'm going to add ID uh, just a new column in ID fine which is going to be the foreign key and one more thing you can keep the name of foreign key and the primary key same or different uh, it will not create any problem but for the sake of simplicity i'm going to use the same names now, next is how you create the uh, how you add new columns column name followed by data type and there uh, here is one more important thing thing to notice that is the data type of the primary key and the foreign key has to be compatible say if you're using the data type integer here and you're using another data type for this column that will generate an error they has to be compatible and that is very logical see only the values which are present in the primary key only those could be entered in foreign key and if only those values could be entered that means that data type should be the same or compatible otherwise you won't be allowed to enter the values which are present in the primary key and there will be no advantage of the foreign key so going back to the implementation now put comma here next is constraint and after that after writing the keyword constraint you write the name to the foreign key i'm going to write just 
any random name and uh, then is your foreign key now this column will be my foreign key and it is going to reference and the word is references not reference okay so it is going to refer another table which table it is going to uh, refer student tables id column so i'm going to write that student and in the bracket you mention the column name which is the primary key of another table so close the bracket and execute and table created now you have created the foreign key now the second case is i want to add a uh, let's say i want to add a new column and new foreign key table is already created we already have the table hostel yet we haven't entered any values yet in the hostel table i'll enter the values and show you the uh, the differences i have explained so first of before that i want to add a new column with the foreign key constraint so let's do that since it's going to be a new column so the query will be alter table table name add what is the name of the new column that is registration number that will be that is going to be the foreign key here so registration number and the data type again i have used the same data type and uh, after that um hmm, add constraint then the name of the constraint just give any uh, any name to your constraint and then is your foreign key sorry foreign key in the bracket mention which will be your foreign key this registration number the column that i have just defined will be my foreign key and as i said you can keep the names different so i'll uh, let me do that as well so if i say registration number in accounts accounts fine so i'm changing the name of the column just for the demonstration purpose so if this is see i'm not uh, using registration number here anymore i'm going to name the column as registration number in accounts that's the name of the column so if this is going to be the foreign key so in the bracket i'll write the same name fine and it is going to references which table it is going to reference student accounts tables registration number okay student sorry student accounts table and in that table we are going to refer the registration number column so let me so execute and table alter and let me show you the columns of the table postal and uh, we have two columns there one is id and one is registration number in accounts as you can see i have changed the name the name of my primary key and the name of my foreign key are not same the name of my primary key is registration number and the new name that i given to my foreign key is uh, sorry foreign key column is registration number in accounts so the name of the columns are different okay now that it's time to enter some values and uh, to demonstrate you that null values are accepted i'll just add a random column to the table or oh sorry alter table table name hostel add mm, its accounts okay it's hostel let's say hostel number and uh, that is where care let's say 100 and done so i have now i have three columns this one is our foreign key this one is our foreign key and this is just a com uh, this just a simple column now it's time to insert the values insert into postal now id sorry values first column is id id let's say i'm going to enter the id one and uh, registration number 
is let's say 111 comma poster number is 5a anything so if i click on execute it says that the integrity constraint violated parent key not found now what's why this is violated the term integrity constraint uh, is related with your primary key and foreign key if i check the values in my first and second table select star from student and select star from student data oh, sorry accounts and click execute see the value one two three is present in id i'm going to insert one that is acceptable in registration number i have the value 101 and 102 that means i since registration number is the uh, uh, foreign key in hostel table and I, if it is a foreign key i cannot insert the values which are not present in the primary key so if i use 101 then only that will be accepted and as you can see row created and let me show you the hostel table now select star from hostel and the row has been created there now the second thing i told you that uh, your foreign key can accept the null values so even we can do that and let's create a new row um insert into hostel values and then let's say i'm go not going to insert any value uh, let me mention the name of the columns uh hostel what's the name of the column hostel number okay hostel number and values is let's say um 6a so execute row created and as you can see id which is a foreign key registration number in accounts is also a foreign key they are null you can enter the null values in the foreign key but you cannot enter the null values in the primary key so with that we are done with the implementation and if i have to conclude it in the end what's the difference between primary key and foreign key see your primary key is will help you to uniquely identify any record record means any row any uh, yeah any value in the table fine so foreign key is a field field means foreign key is a column or a group of columns uh, in the table that is the primary key in another table second thing is of course the primary key cannot accept the null values but your foreign key can now the last one is we can have only one for a primary key in the table but we can have more than one foreign key in the table so with that we are done with the foreign key and thanks for watching and like share and subscribe to the channel thank you